Welcome back to the day in the life of an Australian natural bodybuilder striving to become an entrepreneur. If you missed the first video up on my channel, I highly recommend you go back and watch that as it puts into context my why and my journey moving forward. Without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Today I woke up at 7.50am and left the house by 8.35 for my morning client. Quick pit stop to pick up the client. And going through the usual routine of printing out the bespoke workout plan that was written up the night before for this client. Starting the workout at roughly 9am. And just like that we are finished the client session 5 minutes before 10. Quick pit stop to drop off the client back at their house. And before we move into some more work, a massive breakfast this morning to recoup a lot of the energy I lost in the morning session. Along with the breakfast juice you see on screen, I had 270 grams of basmati rice, 130 grams of lamb shank, and 220 grams of sweet potato. Now, you're going to have to use your imagination for that meal because I completely forgot to record it. Straight after smashing down that meal, I get right back into work. On the to-do list for this morning and early afternoon, I have a lot of website work to get done. I'm building out the service section for my business in-gym personal training section. And literally three and a half hours later, somehow, some way, it is already 2.20 p.m. I've literally been looking forward to this meal since I woke up. It is a massive bowl of fruit salad. Let's go. And lucky me, Straight back into some more work. This time I have to edit the short form content for today's social post. After editing that video, I also did some more online website work, this time for the online coaching section. And lo and behold, it's already 5.47 p.m. What an absolute disaster. To top off my energy levels, I had a quick and light meal, beef stroganoff with pasta. I quickly smashed down that mill and jumped in the shower for a quick cold rinse. And it's time to make that social post that I edited previously today. I posted it just before 7pm. In order to perform and annihilate today's leg day, I'm having a very carb heavy but light pre-workout snack. As you can see, the macros are on screen and those are the ingredients I added into the pre-workout snack. Which pre-workout to select today? Hmm, I think I'm going to go for the Voodoo Black Current. This one's absolute top tier. And it's finally time to make our way to the gym. On the way to the gym, I'm usually pumping some hard style tunes to get me in the zone for the workout. Obviously, due to copyright reasons, I can't actually put that in the video, but just use your imagination once again. And we have arrived, comrades. A quick fit check. Looking sharp. And finally getting the workout underway. So today's leg day. The cardiovascular endurance and warm-ups are obviously different. Today I'm warming up on the stationary bike. After getting our legs nice, tender and warm, we move into our first leg day compound. The plate-loaded hack squat. I performed 4 total working sets and my top set was 240 kilos for 10 reps. Then we moved into the isolation lifts. The first exercise was a seated machine hamstring curl. I did that for 4 sets and my final set was 100 kilos for 10 reps. The next isolation exercise was a seated leg extension. As you can tell, this program today is very quad dominant. I performed three total working sets for the leg extensions and my final set was very light, 75 kilos for 12 reps. And I ended the workout on two sets of standing calf raises. My top set was 135 kilos and I performed 20 reps. The total duration of the workout was one hour, but if you factor in warm-ups and cooldowns, the total duration was an hour and 10 minutes. Now it's time to get home because I'm absolutely starving at this point.
We arrived safely home after the chaotic storm and wasting no time, I'm throwing some lamb steaks on the pan. This is pretty much my post-workout meal. I also had 330 grams of sugar-free strawberry yogurt and 50 grams of whey isolate by EHP Labs. After wrapping up our calories and freshening up in the shower, that brings us to the end of yet another video. It's about 11.30 sharp. So if you made it to the end of this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to the channel and become one of those founding members as we climb the ranks and reach our goal this year of 20 to 30,000 subscribers. I appreciate you all. Cheers.